I was basically raised or at least born in a broken house that father, absent mother, selfish uncle, cruel aunt and two aging grandparents. My grandmother was my mother so she basically raised me. When she died there a lot of people who extended their hands and tried to comfort us. Maybe because we had a broken family as it is. So there was this man in his mid 40s. He came in and he decided that the only way to comfort my family was to stay with us. Uh, he, he was supposed to be my brother in some way. But uh, Within two days, he became a very integral part of the family. It was fine, but after a while, he got a little too friendly with me uh, until he decided that smiling and laughing and talking about things is just not enough. He didn't, I mean, he, he tried to rape me, but he tried to rape me. He didn't. He didn't succeed. He never succeeded. And I could. I, I can still feel his stubble rubbing over my face and his hands all over everywhere. And uh, after I, and somehow, I was able to outrun. After being sexually abused and tormented, I tried to approach my family. I tried to tell my mother about it, but she turned a blind eye. She turned away. She chose to believe my assaulter and not me. And uh, they believed that. And the lowest moment came when my mother told that out loud but this is just the gist of it that she knew exactly what I was up to and I decided to commit suicide and I have been crying for 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 days non-stop and it didn't help so somehow I thought that if I could just slice my wrist and let the blood flow out somehow the pain would flow out with it so that's exactly what I did. I slit it and I slept with it. When I woke up, I was in a pool of blood and I couldn't wake up because I was, I was weak from the loss of blood. I somehow managed to gather my wits and uh, I, I still couldn't because I had lost my voice, I had lost my strength and that's when it hit me that I, I don't deserve to, I don't need to die for someone and I just wanted to live. I wanted to live for myself, I wanted to live for, for proving those people wrong. So I tried to get up and fortunately for me, my uncle who was never around to extend a loving hand and he called up my mother for aid. But she told him, and I could hear that, that she would rather see me die than come out of her office and help me out. She would rather see me die. But I managed myself. I caught back and I even apologized for my, to my mother who wanted me to die. That I'm sorry for embarrassing you in front of people. I became a lawyer, I decided that, you know, at one point of time, I would be able to live my dreams when I was done, when I was free of all the hurt and trauma that I was made to experience. I basically wanted people to know that um, your safe house doesn't exactly exist within the four walls that you're raised in or 
anywhere outside you can try but at the end of the day it really doesn't matter if you trust someone your trust can very easily be broken especially by the people who you deeply care for and who deeply claim to love you